Welcome to this DSLR tutorial. Today I will talk about the shutter speed. The shutter speed is the time the shutter opens to let light to the sensor. 1 60s for example means that if you divide one second into 60 parts, one of those 60 parts the shutter would be open. 1000s against that would be super short. And a half means that the shutter is half a second open. Even though 1 16 sounds super short, it is not. The main reason why pictures are blurry is because the shutter speed is too long. This counts especially for pictures with moving objects. I asked my girlfriend to walk in front of the camera several times with the same speed and I took pictures of it with different shutter speeds. And you can see that you need a short shutter speed in order to have a moving object sharp. The shutter speed gets especially long under low light conditions. Low light condition is not just night but also inside of rooms for example. And it also happens easier when you're using a long vocal length means when you zoom. So how should you choose your shutter speed? Of course that depends on the situation. If you take a picture of a group of friends which are actually looking into the camera and which are not moving, you should have a, a shutter speed of at least 180s. If the people are not looking and are still moving around, your shutter speed should be at least 1 250s to make sure that there are no hands which are unsharp because they are moving so fast. This also counts for playing children. You can increase the shutter speed by opening your lens, means using a lower f-stop or increasing the ISO. How to set the shutter speed in relation to ISO and aperture? You can learn in my video about how to use manual settings. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and I will be happy to help you.